across to Westminster, we can speak to Alan Campbell, the Minister for Crime Reduction. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. How do you teach five-year-olds about domestic violence? You teach them uh, in an appropriate way to their age. So you talk to them about um, positive relationships. You talk to them about issues like bullying, for example. You talk to them about language which is used, uh, how they would feel in situations if they were exposed to bullying. Uh, and that allows you to have a conversation which as they progress through their school years, you can then widen into uh, perhaps more detailed and uh, um, grown-up conversations around uh, domestic violence and sexual violence. Yeah, I mean, things like sexist, sexual and transphobic bullying, uh, at what age do they come in? Well, you can begin to introduce it at, at whatever uh, age that the schools believe that it's appropriate. And, of course, we will be closely working with schools and consulting with schools uh, on how we uh, move forward with this. But I think the key point here is that we have been doing a lot to try to tackle domestic violence and the issues associated with it. But the focus has been very much on using legislation to protect victims and also to make sure that we provide the services to support them and help them when they need it. The focus of this strategy is very much on prevention, uh, which is about challenging uh, those attitudes and those behaviours that are entirely inappropriate. What about the, the issue, many people texting here at the BBC saying, look, it's all very well teaching children about violence against women and girls, but there is equally violence against men and boys. Where does the gender issue start with this? Yes, there is, and we're, we're, we're aware of that. When we began our public consultation, uh, which took place over the summer, the biggest consultation on this issue uh, that there's ever been, but the reality is that 8 out of 10 victims of domestic violence uh, are women, uh, and therefore uh, that's the focus of our strategy. It doesn't mean that we don't take the issue of um, domestic violence against men seriously. Yes, we do. But this is focusing very much on violence against women and girls, uh, not least because, as I say, so many of them are um, the victims. Uh, a million women over a year will be the victims of violence of one sort or another. That's a huge problem that we cannot allow to continue, and that's why we need to address the attitudes and behaviours that underpin those actions. Alan Campbell, Minister for Crime Reduction, thank you very much. Thank you. School children in England are to be taught about domestic violence to try to change attitudes towards abuse. The compulsory lessons for pupils of all ages will be introduced in two years' time. They're part of a new government strategy to make violence against women and girls unacceptable. Our Home Affairs correspondent June Kelly reports. Sabina Akhtar murdered by her husband, who stabbed her through the heart. The authorities admitted they could have done more to protect her. Katie Summers killed by her ex-partner. She too was stabbed. And Cassandra Hasanovic murdered by her estranged husband in front of their two young sons. Cassandra's mother also witnessed the fatal attack on her daughter after years of abuse. Cassie was totally... Um exhausted with it all because she just wanted it all to stop. She didn't want to be scared anymore. She didn't want to run anymore. Some women do manage to escape abusive partners. Today the government launches a wide-ranging strategy to try to stop violence against women and girls in the first place. I think it's very important that we look at this uh, across society as to how we can prevent violence against women and girls by looking at how it occurs in the first place and some of that is about is around social attitudes and so there will be a big focus on the young preventing violence in relationships will become a compulsory part of the school curriculum it's already on the agenda at this college for me personally i mean i wouldn't get myself involved with somebody like that but for girls who are in that situation i can't get out they don't tell anyone so both sexes will learn about respect Will young men get the message? If you target it young before people start doing it, then I think, I think it, will, it will stop. So I, th I think it's a brilliant idea to do it. Stop it young. Ministers want boys to learn to show respect and girls to expect it. June Kelly, BBC News.